All right, guys, today we're in a little place called Thornton, Idaho. It's a couple, uh, 20, 30 minutes north of the shop. And we're out here. This property has been abandoned for about 10 years, and I got a call that there's some VWs. Actually came up yesterday and picked a few parts, uh, some wheels, some wheel adapters. And you probably can't see it, but right there in those bushes it is actually a beetle. And then there's a couple more in the back. I'm meeting my buddy Carl uh, from Teton Van Works here. He's going to help me do some heavy lifting. Actually broke my back about uh, two and a half months ago. So Carl's going to help me do the heavy lifting. We're going to get this beetle loaded up. And uh, I'll show you a couple of other things that we picked yesterday. That's what. That's kind of all I figured this car was good for is uh, video. kind of a an extraction. The motor does turn over. So I kind of have this like get it back to the shop, fire it up, make it run. Get it back to the shop, gut it of the interior, pressure it, and then demo. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But we gotta get we gotta get those, you know, the we gotta get that first first fire, you know, the first uh making smoke and I don't know. This thing's probably been here from the looks of it 20 plus years. Keys in the ignition, title's probably in the glove box. Yeah, we'd probably just snake it out. Tell me when. Yep. Like it? I think so. I mean, I'm gonna <laughs> get the wheels to roll. <laughs> Yeah, the battery doesn't stay charged. <laughs> yeah. Um, will that let out a little bit and give me some slack so I can see if I can bounce it over some more? Good if we had a winch that worked that way. Oh yeah, well then no worries. <laughs> Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, we're for some reason the out we must have a ground issue or something on the out part of things. Oh, I see. Hey, hold on. I'm just gonna go like an inch or two. Yeah, I know. I just did. I need to pinch those ramps. How's that? Good. A little more. There you go. Mm. 
Man, if this were in Oregon, there'd be a whole ecosystem growing on the hood. <laughs> it's a pretty straight little car. I mean, it's got the typical rust in those back yeah, corners where they have corners. the foam in them, you know? Yeah. But really, it's like pretty straight for, I don't know. Still, it's super beetle. You just gotta find the love. Find some super beetle They love. made cool Baja bugs. <laughs> yeah. Somebody will be all over it. Why don't you Be stuck. Maybe the speedo <laughs> stuck. Maybe. <laughs> we know it's not the brakes. We know it's not the brakes. <laughs> Good save. Yeah. 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 Actually, a pan back here, complete pan right here. I'm not gonna haul it off. You can see the low back seats over here is a little beetle that's just hammered in the front end, not a lot left of it. It's pretty picked over, pretty boned out. You can see the damage on it. Somebody had a really bad day in this car. And right here, we're gonna get the pop outs out of that car. Other than that, it's pretty well boned out too. See, there's an early beetle fender right there. There's the hood off of the one we were just looking at. So this guy here, we're gonna we're gonna pull the pull the windows and maybe the rear seat frame out of this car, and it's not much left. There's a better shot of that one. Just hammered. All right, guys, let's have a closer look at this little Super Beetle that we just yanked out of. Up in the Rexburg, Idaho area. I think I kind of showed you around it a little. It's not much to look at. Missing the base of the back seat. There's no battery in it. It's got some pretty good, pretty good crust in this foam area. These later model cars, this whole area inside here is filled with foam. And it just, it was just a really dumb design because that foam just holds the moisture in there and just causes it to just rot out. Um, anyways, uh, I've already got somebody interested in this car. If I didn't grab it, it was gonna end up going to the scrapper 
and so I grabbed it. I mean, it was pretty cheap, to be honest with you. Haven't been able to get the hood open yet. How's that for cobwebs? And look at all the all the moss growing on it. Um, I believe I did actually. Let's see if we can get this door open. The best I have to go off of is right here. 1989. Those are the last plates. There was also registration in the glove box. And that was the last registration was 1989. Um, decent headliner. About its only redeeming quality. Anyways, uh, like I say, I've got somebody... I've got somebody who wants it, but rather than just kick it down the road and not at least try to fire it, it'd be a shame if we just sent it along and, and didn't at least try to fire it up. So let's have a look here and I'll show you what I, what I, what I know so far. So, so far, um, it will turn over. Yeah, that pulley's been down there a while. Look how, look at all the crap down there, but see how rusty that spot is that's been down low. So it feels like it's going all the way around. I don't, doesn't feel like it's catching anywhere. Um, the carb linkage is, is frozen up. So I think first thing I'm going to do is we're going to get the air cleaner off. We'll look at this carburetor over. I don't have a lot of time tonight. And honestly, doing all this wrenching kind of, uh, I don't know, it's just, it's a little more painful than, uh, than it used to be. And so I think, uh, I think we're just going to, maybe I'm rambling. I'm a little rusty with this whole YouTube thing. So, uh, let's start over. <laughs> so I think for tonight, all we're gonna do is, I'll, I'll try to free this up. We'll get this all pulled off. I'll try to free this up. I've got a battery I can throw in it. And uh, basically we're just gonna try to fire it up and see if we can make it run. It should run. So I'll go grab a couple of things. I might cheat and pull this really nasty carburetor off and just pop another one on out of my breakdown kit. And that uh, might be a better way to go for tonight rather than trying to clean that thing up. So let me get, uh, let me get some of this stuff pulled off and I'll see if I can free up that linkage. If not, we'll pop a different carburetor on it and see if it'll see if it'll fire probably going to pull the uh, fuel line coming from the tank off of the fuel pump as well and we'll just run it with uh, we'll just prime the carb or maybe even run like a little satellite tank just over here just off a bottle or something I don't want to be sucking any nasty fuel out of the tank into this thing so let's start with that I'll be right back okay guys so I've got uh, the air cleaner off I did hit this with a little WD-40 and I got this uh, freed up and moving um, I replaced this vacuum line was just falling apart um, and actually if you notice here this vacuum line is actually attached to the intake which is not correct this vacuum line should actually be up here on this guy here so we're gonna move that up block this off and I got a little bit of uh, carb cleaner down in the throat of the carburetor it's moving pretty good so I'm gonna change these vacuum lines out with some new ones connected up here where it's supposed to go we'll block this one off and then uh, I'm gonna pop the cap and rotor off make sure that uh, everything in there looks good make sure the points are gapped and then at that point i'll get a battery in it there is a key in the ignition i noticed we'll check and make sure we've got power back here and then we'll see if this thing will okay so i'm looking inside the distributor here i've got the rotor off i don't know if you guys can see that down in there 
but our points are gapped. So we're gonna go ahead and put that back together, call that good. Um, I am going to uh, make a little jumper wire here for the fuel shutoff and for the, uh, for the choke. And I do need to throw the battery in it still and make sure we've even got power back here. Like I said, there is a can of ignition, so that'll be easy. And then if it'll start with the key, if it'll crank over with the key, we'll try that. If not, I'll, I'll uh, put a jumper into the starter. That's why you can just use a push button back here. Should be going here in just a couple minutes or at least ready to start cranking it over. Be right back. Well guys, I tossed a battery in here just out of a Subaru that I had, just kind of makeshift. And we've actually got lights all the way around. I heard some clicking when uh, the battery went in. I just kind of tapped the terminals on. And believe it or not, even the, even the deck lid light's on. Oh, this guy was on a minute ago. Oh no, it's on. There we go, it is on. So, the headlights are on how do these silly super beetles work we got one headlight so all the lights work with the exception of the left headlight so we'll turn those off I didn't even know where the light switch was that's pretty sad okay keys on I believe the key was on let's double check that yep keys on because the dash lights are on this is kind of cool check this out so as i was putting the rotor back on i'm probably going to keep this guy because if you look right there some of you youngsters might not know what that w means it doesn't stand for wagon in volkswagen it says made in w germany so you youngsters, go ask your mom what W Germany is. You old timers will know. Pretty cool. I think I'm gonna have to uh, hang on to that road or probably slam a different one in. But for now, for the this test, we'll roll with it. So I'm gonna I'm going to get this cap back in place. Nope vacuum lines in the way get it seated down there it is not going back on for some reason there we go maybe All right, we're back on. All our plug wires are seem like they're on. Let's grab a test light. Let's see if we've got juice. Uh, we have power. I made a little jumper, I'm gonna run that. And uh, I haven't put any fuel in it yet. But let me go grab this little jumper I just made. I just kinda eyeballed this while I was in the shop. I think my links are good. You know what? I should probably. I'm gonna go turn the key off while I do that. I will probably end up. Actually, you know what we can do? Never mind. Did I, did I mention that uh, it's been about three months since I've really been here doing anything at the shop? So I'm a little rusty, guys. Apologize. Here we go. Should definitely do this backwards, like so. If I was just to hook this right up to power, oh, you hear that? There's the fuel shut off working. You can hear it clicking. Anyways, if I was to hook that right up to power, I probably would have been sparks flying everywhere as I was grounding it out. All right, so 
we should be let's go up here to the key see if this thing wants to turn over door open oh look at that we can open our way up come in here to the key go off and then on all right we are we are cranking all right guys i'm going to move the camera over to this tripod get you guys kind of set up right here i'm going to run around front and actually crank it from up there because for me to crawl underneath this thing and hook up just a, a button right now is kind of a pain so we'll try it from inside first and I'll see if we can get this to really be nice to have an extra set of hands right now uh, just to crank for me. I might end up calling somebody, but let me see if I can just do this by myself first. Okay, so I recruited some help so I don't have to run the jumper. I'm gonna put a little gas down the, the vent on the carb here so the carb's full. a little in there and I did uh, hook up a little remote tank here for the fuel so we should be good to go go ahead and crank it Tyler uh, go all all the way nothing I had it cranking them I had it cranking them. I had it cranking a minute ago that's weird Turn the key off for a minute. Okay. Keys off. Okay, go ahead and try it again. Nothing. Nothing. All right, let me see if I can. Oh, not quite limber enough to get up under there. And I can do something. Tap on the starter. Starter. Do you have a Do you have a hammer? Yeah, but it's. I don't know whether we're gonna get in there right now to tap on it. I'm gonna have to jack it up. Jack it up and take the wheel off. Just a override on the uh, the switch here. Um, apparently the ignition switch is having some issues. Not wanting to crank over, so I'm gonna have Tyler run that now. And we're back to, back in business, hopefully. So, oh, is the ignition switch on? No. Let's see. All right, we gotta get the ignition switch on so we have power back here. Okay, go ahead and crank it over. All right, stop for a sec. All right, go ahead and go. Grab a spark plug and we'll check for spark. Oh, great. Swear word. Spark. Right. Go again. All right. Hold up. We got no spark. Okay. So, I might have to. Is the, is let me see if it's still If the ignition's still on. Lights are still on. here all right I'm gonna have to dig into that in the morning 
I'm running out of light tonight. <sighs> and I'm just not feeling it. Okay guys, so it's been a couple days since I uh, last was filming. Finally got some time tonight to mess around with this thing a little bit. We're trying to figure out our spark situation. This right here is our wire that runs down to the condenser. And I don't know if you can see, but it looks like it got ripping hot at some point and it is just fried. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace that. Right now I've got constant power on uh, the negative side of the coil. So we've got some connection problems in here somewhere. So I'm going to swap that out. The condenser just basically comes down, goes through the distributor right down here, mounts over here. Probably gonna have to just pop the distributor out to change that. Um, so I'll get that swapped out and we'll try it again. The points and the condenser and keys on go ahead and hit that button a couple times oh, go ahead yeah go ahead. we got spark now so we're gonna go ahead and add a little more fuel to the bowl of the carburetor it's been a couple days since i last messed with this um we'll get that wire back on that plug see if we can make this thing fire up all right here we go, see what happens. Here we go. Diaphragm on that accelerator pump's probably just rock hard. Stuff flying out of there. It's crazy. Uh -oh. Second. See all that stuff flying out of there? Nineteen eighty nine. First run since then. I'm done with it. I'm not taking it any farther. I got a buddy that wants this for a project. I just wanted to see it run before uh, before I sent it on its way. Basically, this car was parked probably in 89 over a set of points, 
and a bad condenser or at least a fried wire so uh, in fact in the front uh, driver's side floor there was this ratty old test light somebody had been working on it there it is guys first start since 1989 thanks for watching catch you guys later